Well, tonight we're also following up on the tragic loss of a Marshall County teen killed on a local road. Connor Parker's truck flipped over the guardrail of a bridge near Alder Springs. Fire officials say this is not the first crash on that bridge, and now residents are demanding action. WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp has more. It needs to be addressed. The bridge needs to be addressed to uh, get it fixed, and uh, so people's lives won't be in jeopardy. 18-year-old Connor Parker was killed on Hustleville Road over the weekend after his truck went over a bridge guardrail at Short Creek. Buck Brown with Alder Springs Fire and Rescue responded to the scene when Parker crashed. A uh, young man was thrown out and lost his life. He was just 18 years old, so you know it's tragic. Anytime you anybody loses their life, but you know a teenager, it's it, you know it just hits a little harder. Brown says this is the second crash in just two weeks on the bridge. Longtime resident Danny Baugh says it has happened so much that he checks in with his family whenever he hears of an accident. Uh, I call my loved ones, my sons, and lives in the area. You know, hey, is everybody okay over that way? Uh, if y'all ain't been on the bridge, you've heard about the wreck on the bridge. You know, it's a it's a discussion piece. Baugh says he drives over the narrow bridge multiple times a day, each time with extra caution. Sometimes I have stopped, come to a complete stop. If it's a, a truck coming the other way, I'll come to a complete stop in a row, which is a bad thing, but you have to do what you got to do to try to not to, to be a, an accident victim. Brown says the steep incline and narrow lanes make the bridge dangerous for drivers. With nearly 4,000 cars crossing it per day, Brown and the surrounding residents want it fixed before another life is lost. We'd love to see the road straightened out and a new bridge put in. Uh, this bridge from the rail to the water is somewhere around 115 foot drop. There. And the traffic count we have, we're, we're going to have problems down there. It's just imminent. The bridge again is on a county road, so we did reach out to County Commissioner Joey Baker, who oversees that area. We'll follow up when we hear back.